Follow any pickup down the dusty roads of Iowa and you'll see the start of a quiet transformation. Farmers are plowing under valuable corn and soybean crops and reintroducing prairie. So what we're looking at is the native tall grass prairie. It's a mix of grasses and forbs that you would have found as the dominant ground cover in the state of Iowa um, about 200 years ago. The original prairie has all but disappeared. It once covered 85% of the state. Now it's about one-tenth of one percent. Three-quarters of Iowa is now covered by two lucrative crops, corn and soybean. But a project by Iowa State University might just change that. By setting aside about 10% of farmland as prairie strips, researchers have found farmers can stop 80 to 90% of topsoil from running off into lakes, streams, and groundwater. Deep prairie grass holds nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus in. For farmers, that runoff might as well be money. The best soil is on the top six to eight inches, and any time you lose any of that soil, you lose potential productivity down the road. Two centuries of runoff has taken its toll, wiping away more than half of Iowa's topsoil. For the rest of us, that runoff becomes pollution, poisoning the water, killing fish, and leading to dead zones like this one in the Gulf of Mexico. The new prairie has even changed the sound of Iowa farmland. Wildlife has returned after being driven out as farms replaced animal habitats. That means more beetles, birds, and bees that pollinate the prairie. These are important uh, for producing food for us because they actually, they are very important element for uh, breeding, plant breeding, and uh, producing seeds. So bees are helping the plants and plants are helping the bees. What is this? Is this something we can implement on our farm? For now, the program is voluntary and about 30 farms here have installed prairie strips. But more are listening. Asking a farmer to take a little bit of land, turn it into prairie that used to be the dominant vegetation is, a, in my mind, kind of a gentle, elegant way to see some of those gains. Um, and then you're providing some of the natural heritage for the state of Iowa and bringing that back. If it works here in Iowa, reintroducing prairies could become the standard for the entire U.S. And that could transform farming across the American heartland and, who knows, maybe the world. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Cedar Rapids, Iowa.